Come to pastor. To set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die a wasted death in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will set you free in the name of Jesus. Father, your head has to pray. Hallelujah. As the message goes on, do we understand what God was saying there to Jacob? Praise the Lord. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, as those that have this work, Father, they will leave. But those that are the patient of this world, brother, like I said this morning, the topic I want us to look at says passing the place of repentance. What did I say? Passing the place of repentance. Open your Bible to the book of Hebrews chapter 6, verse 6. Hebrews 6, 6. Hebrews 6, 6. And it says, If they fall away, to renew them again, to repentance, see they crucify again for themselves the Son of God. I put him to an open shame. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Brethren, this morning, the topic says, passing the place of repentance. When we talk about repentance, it's about you and me looking at what we do and what the Lord asked us to do, placing it together. And when we see that we are not doing it right, we go and say, Lord, I am sorry, I won't do it again. Repentance has become old language in the world now. The villagers are not ready to repent. The youth are not ready. Even when they, uh, when they offend their parents, they are not ready to repent. Not to talk of when they offend God. I begin to wonder, a child that is not, that, is not, that does not have the fear of the Father, will that child have the fear of God? Which one is praise the Lord? Brethren, passing the place of repentance. I want to show us the story in the Bible. How many of us have heard about Esau? Esau was the twin brother of Jacob. And they, they gave birth to them together. But something happened. Esau made a mistake. But when Esau was supposed to repent, Esau took it for granted. He took it 